When I was growing up, we didn't have cell phones. That's probably something you've heard or said yourself, depending on your age, like me. Just one generation can make a world of difference, though, when it comes to technology. In the fifth and final part of our Back to School series, News 8 Austin education reporter Jennifer Bourget introduces us to students with some special high-tech resources. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh, my God. These may look like your everyday, ordinary high school students, and they pretty much are. Well, besides the fact that they have access to some of the latest technologies right here in their school. It's the only way we do things today. Instead of getting writer's cramp taking notes in spiral-bound notebooks, students at Maynard New Tech High School use these notebooks. Each has their own. The students are, are more tech-savvy than than most of the adults. And they're no strangers to terms like tweeting, personal learning networks, and social media. In fact, they found out News 8 was coming to the school through a Facebook post and came to campus to talk to us. I think it's uh, an interesting experience because that's the way the world's moving. We're moving into more technology-based worlds. They create YouTube videos for projects and experiment with state-of-the-art technology. We have a camera that can read a symbol of a piece of paper and it will project that image as a 3D uh, figure. So it's like you look at it through this certain camera, there are like books where the uh, illustrations will leap out at you and start moving. That project was called Augmented Reality. The class presented it to a group of professionals and that's only the beginning for these students. We're preparing students for a world that doesn't exist yet, uh, for jobs that don't exist yet. Jobs that could be formed by a new generation of students raised in a time of advanced innovation. Jennifer Bourget, News 8 Maynard. Maynard New Tech High School is in the Maynard School District, but students have to be accepted and live within the boundaries to get in. Right now, there is a waiting list. To see our entire back-to-school series, check out our website, news8austin.com.